So, do females build muscle faster? What can women achieve with strength training? Most often, women fear that if they lift a barbell, they wake up the next day like, dog. <laughs> People with a little bit more understanding of exercise physiology realize that this is, of course, BS. Just take a look at the gym. Most men work their ass off for years and do not become like the Hulk overnight. So woman, boo boo. Hell no. The hell on Felicia. No, but for real. The fact that women also have 15% times less testosterone than men is often interpreted as not being able to build muscle. So the general recommendation in today's fitness circles is that women should train like men and especially shouldn't expect to gain a lot of muscle. But what can you actually expect? Well, for this, it is important to first briefly discuss the main differences between men and women, because there are differences. Women generally experience less fatigue if they train with a higher number of reps compared to men. And this is partly due to the fact that they have more type one muscle fibers. Whoa, wait, what are type one muscle fibers? You get, you get too sciencey now. Don't worry, I'll explain. Type 1 muscle fibers are mainly used for light activities such as uh, walking or endurance sports such as running. And this makes completely, completely sense from an evol evolutionary perspective, right? Women walked long distances with the kids and men did all the hunting, right? And men, for example, have more type 2 muscle fibers and these have a relatively high threshold and a faster contraction speed. And this type of muscle tissue has a faster and more powerful contraction, but cannot sustain this for as long as type one muscle fibers. So you use this type of muscle tissue, for example, for strength training or sprinting. So let's just say you're female, you'll react better to higher reps because women have more type one muscle fibers. To the exact reason, women should train differently compared to men. Number two, women can handle more training volume. And the training volume is the total workload or how much uh, you do in the gym. It is simply the amount of sets, reps, weight, and intensity of your training or training week. So for example, you do five sets on a squat of five repetitions each on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And this means 15 sets of squatting and thus 15 cents for the quad muscles over the entire week, right? I can, yeah, I'm right. I can calculate, I can do math. And this brings the training volume for your quad muscles to 15 sets. So the volume is 15 sets. So this means women can do more work in terms of sets and reps, etc., over the course of the week. So for example, if a woman does 10 sets of squats in one workout, she maybe needs 24 hours to recover, while men need it 48 hours. And this is an extreme example, okay? But I hope you get my point. I think this is due to the hormone estrogen. And estrogen is the sex hormone, usually referred to as the female hormone, because this hormone plays an important role in the development of female sex characteristics. Uh, regulating the menstrual cycle, pregnancy, and estrogens also occur in the male body, although in lower concentrations. And on the other hand, men have more testosterone, which is responsible for men's sex characteristics, like a beard. You can see my beard, right? I have a big beard. <laughs> no, I don't. But it's responsible for beard growth, high muscle mass, deep voice, etc. So women also have testosterone, but in lower amounts, just like men have lower amounts of estrogen. You get it now? But how much muscle can women actually gain compared to men? And this is going to shock you, all right? And I'm going to ask you one thing. If you're feeling generous today and you want to make my day and help this channel grow, 
because we're already at 1.5k subscribers. I'm so happy about that. And let's get to the 10k, man. Let's get to the 10k. Just like the video for me, uh, subscribe. I do all this. I do all this shit for free, you know. And it's just I love to do it. And you know, I also do not earn any ad revenue from this. This is just I do this for you guys because I love you. So show some love. But how much muscle can women actually gain compared to men? Women can gain the same percentage of muscle mass as men with strength training. Weird, right? I mean, like, women increase in size just as much, but sometimes even more in strength. All right, girls, don't stress too much. You will not turn into the Hulk. It will not happen. It will never happen. Unless you pop on the juice. The difference is the starting point. Men start with more muscle mass and strength, but the relative increase in muscle size is the same in men and women. Research on protein metabolism comes to the same conclusion. So women build up as much muscle protein after workout and after meals as men. One study has concluded that women with the same muscle mass level even have faster muscle protein synthesis levels than men. So women have a lot of potential for muscle growth. Take use of that. Why, why are you women not jacked? Well, I can tell you. When women go to the gym, they spend most of their time on the treadmill or playing with pink dumbbells. Yeah, and women generally do not train as hard as men do if I look at it with a wide lens. This is just what I see. And if a woman follows a good strength training program, they can get so far with their physique. So for all women out there, get yourself in the gym and try implementing strength training. Hire a coach, whatever. Thank me later. Shameless plug here. I'm a coach. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one online coaching and you like to eat food that you love, drink alcohol, whatever, and have a good science-based approach that actually works for you and that you can sustain for the rest of your life, hit the link in the description. And this was the end of the video, guys. I love all of you. And like I said, subscribe, like the video, if you're feeling generous, and much love.